Like add some cartilage here to make it like stand out a little more and then lift the tip. Welcome to today's video where today I, Alicia Marie, which um, you should subscribe, to, it's literally right there and it's free and I'll love you forever. This video was a trend maybe a year ago. I probably should have done it then because like, you know. Since then I've had a lot of people asking me to in fact react to some assumptions that you guys have about me. So I posted a story on Instagram after I did the WAP dance, which go watch that. <laughs> You know, I definitely threw out my neck. It's definitely really sore from that. But anyways, sorry mom, you had to see that. Okay. You actually love bougie things, but don't show it to try and be relatable. I'm gonna go with a yes. I will say, when, when TK started working for me, it was so bad in the sense of I purposely hid anything that was designer or bougie because I was trying to be relatable like oh my god uh, relatable cringe where now I feel like I've gotten way better where I do show my bougie side a little bit because I've always loved nice things I've always liked designer things but I've gotten better you used to put on a show for old videos you would be like yeah for sure like insane like stupid like I I've said this before on the podcast looking back I think I was almost like a character like I was Alicia Marie or now I'm just Alicia you know? Oh my god, your parents spoiled you as a child. That's actually so false. I mean, the most spoiling we got was like if we went to the grocery store, my mom would maybe be like, okay, you can pick out like one thing. We weren't really rich at all. We also weren't, we were very like, like middle class for sure. My parents have always been really good with money. They've been so good and they're so freaking frugal. Like we never really went on many like family vacations and stuff that you didn't have the money to attend college. That's actually interesting. I definitely went to community college. <laughs> Our side was able to get on financial aid, which was really, really dope. And then because I did cheer there, I got early registration, which is usually the biggest problem when you go to a community college. So I feel very grateful that I was able to like be in and out in two years and have most of that paid for. Dudes get intimidated by you. <laughs> I honestly, I'm gonna say yes. I don't know if it's true, but like, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, <laughs> Cause that's clearly why I'm single. They're just so intimidated by me. <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh, you low key little hoe. I'm define how. I feel like I have a side to me, but like I'm really not like, you know, getting around much <laughs> at all. Which no shame if you do, like no judgment here, but you know. <laughs> okay. You expect too much from others. I'm gonna say yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I know it. I just, I don't know, yeah. What do you mean? I've had friends tell me how they're terrified to introduce me to a guy or a boyfriend because they know I'm about to like. You get drunk a lot, but don't show it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> True. <laughs> you don't have a sex life. I don't. <laughs> the reason you're not married is because you're too much to handle. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you agree. I don't think that's true. You wish you had a boyfriend. Can I be so honest? Up until the past four months, I would say-ish. Maybe it's like everyone having a little quarantine fling or something. I feel left out. I'm like, I wanna like someone. You make a lot of money, but don't like to show it. Very true. If it, I mean, if you just watch the truth or drink videos, you could see that I'm very uncomfortable with that topic. You are finally happy to be not as PG and that you're able to express yourself more. Yes. You find it annoying when people say you've changed. I don't find it as annoying as some people do, but I definitely went through a phase where a lot of viewers were pissed off about me growing up, which I mean, I get it, but you're trying to change because your audience is becoming less engaged with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to whip out all the tricks. No, honestly, I feel like I've just become so much more myself with the camera, which has been really dope. You've never smoked weed. Ooh, can confirm that I definitely went through like a little stoner stage. Not like crazy, but like a little bit. Like, I don't know. It was just socially. Honestly, I really don't anymore. That you're, oh my God, that you're secretly very smart, but act dumb in front of the camera. Great assumption. I would say I know I'm really smart when it comes to like the business side of YouTube, but a lot of that I don't show in videos. Not that I don't want to, just because I feel like when I get, go in a meeting and I'm like, ooh, like I know I'm about to pop off. Like I feel confident in that. But I also wouldn't say that I'm like extremely smart when it comes to like school and that kind of stuff. I was always just average. 
a little above average. I think you're way more strategic and smart in your videos than you seem in your videos. Really, Taylor King? I know for a fact <laughs> you are. Okay. You're way more strategic. Okay, I'm, I'm genius. <laughs> Oh, becoming best friends with Remy helped you gain confidence as a person. Yes, a bajillion thousand percent. Love her the most. Hashtag pretty basic. Go subscribe. Lots of boys hit you up daily. No, but I will say I've been getting a little more DMs from random guys. Where before I'd, I'd be like, no, it's dry. <laughs> it's dry. I know. I made TK move out. Did I? No. No. You don't like Gabby, you only like Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I will say I'm definitely closer to Nikki than I am Gabby, and like they both know that. Like that's not, I don't know, me and Nikki just like click in a different way, but you know, hashtag girls night in 2016. You didn't like your room decor when Mr. Kate did it. I actually did like it, I really loved it, but I remember afterwards there were some things that I was like, oh, maybe I would change this, or maybe like having a little more color or whatever, but also on the side note, I will say too, I get over decor really quick. Like I honestly would, I already wanna redo my office. Like as you guys just saw in the living room video. Also that time in my life, I was like, I was just, I was in love with this like Palm Springs vibe. There was just a little, a lot of wood where now I would be fine with, but back then I was just like only white, no black, blah, you know, it was just, yeah. Oh, you don't like TK, you just use her for work. <laughs> Honestly, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, guys, who do you think I am? <laughs> um, you finally have a boy from the dating app? No. I think that you have something big and keeping it a secret from us. By the way, love you. Yes, I do. What do you mean? <laughs> you love pride. <laughs> I know. I just, I hate when YouTubers are always telling you that they're working on projects but won't tell you, but I will say I'm definitely working on something that's one of the biggest projects I've ever worked on and I'm really, really freaking stoked about it and it's been very, very hush-hush. You have real estate investments other than your home. No, but I actually genuinely have been wanting to invest more um, with more real estate in some way, so I need to research that and figure all that out. Ooh, you seem confident but you're low-key insecure about your body. I'm actually gonna disagree with this one and I, I'm gonna say the switch only happened maybe like the past few months. I think I just came to a point where I realized, yes, I still have lower belly fat, but like I always will. Like they're there to protect the organs. Like they're there for childbirth. Like that's just, this is my body. So I feel like I've been a lot more confident in even like my insecurities, which ended up turning into like non-insecure. That made no sense. That you'd be hooking up with guys on the DL eyes. Oh, that sometimes you feel excluded from the Asian girl squad. No, I'm gonna say no to that one, but I definitely did in the past, which I've been very open about to some people. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward turtle. I love you, however, I assume that you might not have kids. I don't know if you're telling me that in like a psychic way or if you're just like like assuming that, that I like don't want kids. I feel like I never used to say this ever in my life because I was so scared I would jinx it or something. But one of my like biggest fears has always been that I wouldn't be able to have kids. And I am trying not to overthink it because I'm like, is that me like, like trying to prepare myself for what's gonna happen? So um, I don't know. I feel like either way, like we'll deal with that when we get there. Obviously I don't want kids right now, but I'm definitely not opposed to adopting in any way, shape or form. So I feel like if I couldn't have kids, I would just adopt. And that's also like like pretty close to my heart because my mom was actually adopted. You hate it when people refer to you as the schoolisha era. Okay, low key, <laughs> yes I did. But just recently on TikTok, like that's one of my number one comments from everyone being like, this isn't schoolisha or like schoolisha looks different here. And I'm like, that's hilarious. Like that's funny. So I feel like I should, I should rock into that a little more. That's naughty. What? <laughs> I can't. My mom's gonna see this video. Wait, you have something in your teeth. Oh no. Good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah. False. <laughs> oh my god, you're getting a nose job. I love you. Is that the one that you wanted mm -hmm. me to do? I have never, ever in my life said this on camera. Ever. Ever. I know. And I know why, I get why I didn't. Now we have no filter, now we share. One of my biggest insecurities my entire life, entire life, was my nose. When I was little, I used to call my nose my beak because I felt like it just stuck out so much. Like it was like super like thin here, like pinched, and then the, this was like wide, and it was just like out. And like when I smile, it like it's big. I, I know this is me just like nitpicking. This is where the triggering moment started. I remember being in sixth grade, and our art project was to stand in front of a projector and trace our profile. Then we cut out our profile and put it on the wall. That's what was hanging on the wall that every single day. Sixth grade Alicia, 
had to stare at every single day. I was looking at everyone's profiles and what stands out on mine? My freaking nose. And no, I did not cut it wrong. I was very aware at such a young age of like my nose and I've just like always not liked it. Now obviously I never talked about this, just especially having such a young audience. The number one reason why I didn't get a nose job was because I was so scared of looking like a bad role model. So I ended up going to this Beverly Hills office and I got a consultation. Basically all it would take is $20,000 later and a quick call and I would be getting a nose job and I remember freaking the fuck out I was like this is a huge thing what if I don't look like me like I ha I this paper cost me $500 for a consultation are you serious but if you get the surgery it goes towards that payment oh oh, oh my god it's so weird looking at these now. I don't think I've ever seen this. No. Okay, this was, so it was gonna be basically $20,000 and 300 bucks. Is that normal? Well, nose jobs are way more than boob jobs, which I've quickly learned. Wow. Now, and this was the digital mock-up that he did. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this. I know. They were basically gonna like add some cartilage here to make it like stand out a little more and then lift the tip. But yeah, isn't that insane? Whoa. That's so weird. <laughs> like, I'm like, I low key still want it. <laughs> so I kind of started freaking out because it's your nose, it's such a big deal. A nose can drastically change your face, and I was just scared of it going wrong. So I decided, I was like, Alicia, why don't you try getting a non surgical nose job first, which is just injections and getting filler? And then if you like that, that way you don't have to go under the knife. It's also dissolvable, like it's way less permanent. And I'd rather spend $1,000 on some filler than $20,000 and ruin my face. So I ended up doing that and I never have addressed it. Um, there were a few comments when I first got it done of people wondering that. But really? basically, yeah, there's only a few. That's crazy. Um, so I got filler here. Um, to kind of bring this out more and then also in the tip, but that was over a year ago So it's definitely faded since then, but it was supposed to last two years So I definitely can still tell that it's there But yeah before it was just very pinched right here it was super like super small so it it's just proportions. It's weird It's so weird, but I still get a nose job honestly like <laughs> maybe I think the biggest thing is do your research and I actually really loved the fact of me trying filler first because it is such a big thing. I don't want people thinking it's like, oh, get whatever plastic surgery you want. Obviously, it's your decision, but it's obviously a big decision to make. If you are interested in it, I'm just gonna say you're beautiful no matter what. So at the time, I was 25 years old, and um, yeah, that was about two years ago. I can't believe I haven't seen those. Photos. I know. So anyways, I think that is a perfect place to end this um, assumptions video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned some tea about me. <laughs> What the fuck? What? Where did that? What is that? Anyways, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, bye.